From Georgia all the way to New York, NFL giant tight end Evan Ingram has taken on the field with a great amount of confidence. Although he has encountered some injuries in the past season, he has remained resilient through it all with the support of his family, of course. Yeah, joining us live right now is Evan's mother, Michelle Zelina, to catch up with us on how Evan has been preparing for the big night and what she's looking forward to in the new season. Good morning. Hey, good morning. Thanks for having me. Thank you for being here. Hey, look, you know, so Evan had a, a foot injury, right? Mm -hmm. And what I was reading about was that he returned home to Atlanta yep. for a little TLC. Now, was he of at course. your house? Was he at Mama's house? Of course. Yes. Well, what Mama, was it like having him Mama back home? Sister. How was it? What was it like having him back home? Oh, I loved having him home. Um, he was already um, out of the boot by the time he got home, but um, he was still rehabbing really really strong and every day driving to Atlanta. Oh, yep, there they are. I thought he was going to come home with that little bell and he's going to be ringing the bell <laughs> being like, Ma, meatloaf. Ma, I need meatloaf. I need something. Oh, I still, yes. I still waited on him. Oh. Yes, I did. <laughs> How did he do with the rehab? Were you having to help with that as well? No, he actually, I mean, he was doing it all. I mean, he's, he's just so resilient. He just, I mean, keeps going. Does it stress you out, though, as a mom when you see your son get hit? We know it's a tough sport, right? But as a mom, I'm sure, like, every game you're like, no, not my baby. Yeah, it's, I mean, it's pretty hard. And it's just, he, I know he told me a long time ago that, um, you know, he said, Mom, don't worry. I'm good. I'm doing what I love. So if he gets hurt, I mean, mm -hmm. he's doing what he wants to do. So, so I'm how, here to support him. Take us way back, way, way back when he was a kid, <laughs> right? And how did he get his start in football? Is that something he always wanted to do? Yes, he started when he was four. He was always a bigger kid. So, um, he, yeah, we put him in early. His dad and I were um, big football fans. So, yeah. do you have any yeah. fun stories about him playing as a little pee wee football player? Um, well, he actually, because he was four, like, um, you know, he was a bigger kid, but his hands were so big, he was the center. Uh -huh. Because he was the only one that could really hold the football. <laughs> <laughs> uh, great looking family, by the way. So take us back. Give it any embarrassing memories. Yeah, we're or trying to stories. get some dirt here on. We him. want some juicy <laughs> stories. Oh wow! Uh, was he a troublemaker? I think he caught a ball out of bounds one time. <laughs> that. <laughs> Um, That's rebel. the worst he's done. What a rebel! Oh my yeah, well, goodness! No, he was standing. He was standing on the sidelines, and he caught the ball. Like, <laughs> oh. what about his sister? Does he torment his sister any? Oh yes, all the time. They're always going back and forth at each other. They're each other's biggest fans. They're, they they just love each other. So, oh, this is a beautiful picture right here on the beach. So, take us to tonight when you're watching the game. Uh, what is your routine, rituals that you have in place for for getting ready for the game? Well, I'm already game ready. I'm like, I see, I see that. I'm still, I'm still waiting for um, somebody to help me get into MetLife. <laughs> well, seriously, I can make a call. Did, did you bedazzle this yourself? Yeah, my girlfriend did it for me. Yes. Can we see it? Can yeah, we see yeah. Well, yeah. Dazzling. Yes. See? Oh, nice. Oh, Even the arms are bedazzled. Mm -hmm. and you Is your mask, mask bedazzled? Mask? Oh, my. Ben, mm -hmm. you got some competition, my friend. Oh, no. we could have a mask off. We, lo we need mine. to. Who is your girlfriend? We need to call her up. Yeah. And have her bedazzle yeah. some stuff for us. <laughs> right. For sure. She's now awesome. you're, you're in Atlanta, but you know when. What is? The, what do you make? What's the big thing to eat during a football game? We're doing a big. Yeah. Question what are you today. making tonight? Oh, uh, buffalo chicken buffalo dip. Oh. oh we were just. I was Dan's favorite. After my heart. Yes, now you know. That's you, my the, favorite. The, the but key is. I was really love a um, the uh, the sausage from MetLife. I know. That's my go-to when I go to the stadium. Isn't so. it darn good? I know. It's darn good. Well, when it's now, back open, we'll have to send you some. Let me just tell you, for the yes. buffalo chicken dip, I go a little, just so my secret, uh, you know, we'll chat after, actually. You know, or do you want to know my secret? You want yes, to know? tell us it's, your secret. It's half of an extra cream cheese. You got it, man. Oh. You know? So you go, so no, no, extra. you put in the normal amount of cream cheese, and then you add an additional half. Oh. Okay. And then. It's completely well, fat-free. Actually, well, it's. My daughter has a great recipe. She does it um, non-dairy, and it is so good. You don't even know the difference. Non-dairy? Really? Now we're talking. Huh. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Let's get her on the show, too. I want her recipe. It's really good. Non-dairy. Extra spicy, please. <laughs> um, hey, thank extra you. Extra hot sauce. Extra hot sauce, right? <laughs> hey, uh, I know you'll be cheering them on tonight. Um, yep. Thank you for joining us this morning. We love Go you. Go Giants, yes. Thank yeah. you for having me. <laughs> Absolutely. Come back anytime. Gotta get the, get, we got to get to know who's bedazzling her. So, Ben, Seriously. you have some serious competition, I know, my I friend.